Line A is the one that's going to retain, so that's your 04531. Four, yep. And then this one here that's going to that's post Monday Richmond's, have a limit of 53. And that's one that's, that's the ones go. that's going to merge. And this final position here is going to be our end position, right? Now, I can't really feel too much more in here hmm. until post settlement. Until post settlement, when because the figures then it's are going to change. Figures the limit, the account balance, yep. so on and so on. Right? So, yep. for the purpose of, to your point, not signing anything before all the information is in the form, which would also give you more time to think about whether you want to go fixed or variable. Yeah. I don't need this form signed yeah. in person. Great. So do you have access to print, sign and scan at home? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. So all we all I'm gonna do is Oh well, I don't, but I can do it at my nice. place. All yours. Yeah. yeah. Monday I can pre fill the rest of this information. Excellent. Including the consolidated position. Mm -hmm. And if you guys want to fix my home okay. loan, so that's section one, I will tick that on Monday. That's what you guys decide to do. And, and then, then the you term. just tell me the and term then and the, the term. Yep. And right. that will all be in the form before I email this three to you to sign. And your indicated fixed interest rate is, I mean, this is based on today. That's just there might be a slight change between might, now, yeah, and between now, the now and then. Yep. Exactly. And based on when you sign. Yes. Now, I exactly. will. I mean, if anything changes mm. between now and the, on the rates, but between now and Monday when I send this through, I'm obviously going to let you know if, yeah. if there's been any changes, right? Yeah. And obviously the rate current will be what's on the form. Yeah. So that's none of the other sections apply because we're not doing anything. Yes, exactly. Nothing we're not else changing, changing interest and, and a registration no. B, and that doesn't apply. Either. No, no. We're, we're not. Else. No, we're not doing exactly. anything else, right? Yep. We're just doing those two. Mm -hmm. You would get a full copy of mm -hmm. all of this. I can't just send you the two. Yeah. Bits. I've got to send exactly, you the whole, the whole document. Right? So none yes. of these reducing my loan term, loan amount reduction, none, none of, of these apply. apply. So yep. you would see what's ticked. Yep. You just refer to those two sections. Yep. And then at the back, it will be just for your signature. Just for me to sign. Perfect. So yep. I'll pre-fill everything on Monday. Terrific. Send it through to you. Sign it. Send it back to me. Keep yourself a copy. Because you'll obviously have that emailed through. And then I can lodge that on uh, Tuesday, whatever it is, Tuesday yeah. I can lodge it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, probably about five to seven days for them yeah. to actually yeah. action this. Yeah. If we don't, if you still haven't made your mind up by say Monday or Tuesday whether you want to go fixed, mm -hmm. we definitely don't have to do this part just yet. I if you, to your point earlier, if you want to go leave it on variable, I might fix in two months' time. I'll just keep an eye on how things are going. Yeah. At the time when you want to fix, you just let me know yeah. and I'll just fill up a new yeah. one of these. Cool. That's you I've don't have the, to make I've this got the 9th now. of September is a, 9th of September is a, uh, a date. Might, that might be the date that um, she's looking to move in. I think that's the date of actual settlement. It will be the 9th. I'll just have to check. Yeah. Not the 30th. Why did we have the 30th? I don't know why we had the 30th. Because it was a 30-day contract after the initial time that you signed it, which Gosh. was... Oh. Yes, and then we signed it that, the and then day. signed it that week later. I think it was a, I think it was a week later. Her occupying date's got nothing to do with her settlement date. No, 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 I know, I know. I've got um, a feel. I've got a feeling. I haven't uh, got the phone with me. I haven't got yeah. Just check. Thank you. You're just calling lovely Megan. Uh, what Mandy? Mandy, that's it, Mandy. Oh God, not Megan. She goes up the same as me. Mandy. Yeah, just to be short. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It just sprang to it just sprang to mind. I think that's it. Tar nation. That's right. I can double check that. At the end of the day, if just the settlement's just not the third check that just to be sure. Yeah. Basically, everything we're doing, the. I've got to, I've the got settlement date dictates that. So if we don't settle now until, let's assume, the 9th, yeah. all this is basically starts from the day after. Because there was just... Nothing, nothing, yes, exactly. nothing else really yeah. has to change, just to be right? sure, I think it might just be that little... You, you just push it. The two yeah, forms down there that you've already signed that I'm going to email yeah. you a copy of, that's all I need for settlement. Great. And I've got that today, which basically means I've got it well in advance of yes, settlement. Yes, exactly. For the so we've killed three exactly. birds in one stone. You've got your dispersal forms. We've organised a new document for the merging of the loans. Yeah. 
and and, and we are we are uh, we are making a complaint to NAB result team. Yep. But that's for two issues. So if you two, would two action the incorrect results. information given as well. And then there's By one Mark. more thing. Yeah. There's one more thing. So the form that we're going to lodge a dispute to NAB resolve, the first one that we discussed. The first one, yeah. Was oh, around yes. yep. the that, loan purpose that, that, change. Yep. Yes. Right? Yes, with, which we which we state was on uh, no. the se- 18th, in, well, in September, September 2017. Yeah, September, right? Yeah, September. Again, what decision they come up with, that's them. That's them. For me to do mm. all what we're doing, mm. I still need to change yes. that from investment to owner occupy. To owner occupy. Exactly. Whether they backdated that, completely separate mm. issue here. Mm. For me to do all this, we still need to fill out this mm. form to change that. Oh, okay. Because as it stands, even on Monday, it was never changed. On Monday, it was never changed. It was never changed. Even on Monday, post settlement, your two loans that are going to remain are still going to be ticked as investment. Mm-hmm. Until until we get this up. And then we can merge the two and then it's classed as OO. And then it's going to be owner occupier under yeah. one loan merged under this form. Yeah. But I've still got to do this. Yeah. And having and that. just for the record, signing the notice of loan purpose Perfect. change yeah. notification today does not preclude the statement that we actually had done that on in September two thousand and seventeen. No, so that's that result. So that doesn't preclude that. Right. Look, that still becomes a separate at, issue. At the end of the day, like I want to do just financially what's what's best yeah. for me. If it's going to fuck around with things, it doesn't matter. My only concern is that um, mail has been sent to a uh, to a, to an investment property yeah. for for five years, which which is just such a yeah. And plus all the rates that so I've been scary. quoting are yeah. been occupied rates because this isn't an investment property. No. Right. So and for we me know to that. apply those, to do that. I've got to do this. Okay. Right. Yep. Now, all it states so on here is, the... is loan 0453, yep. which is that one that there. One. Uh, actually, I'm going to have two loans, so I'm going to need two of these forms because I also need to change the 1134 loan over to own occupied as well. So it'll be two of these. But the one one three four is not the one one three four is. No, the the zero four five three is the um. That's but the one one three four is the investment. So why would you change no, that no, to no, O two? No, no, but it will be owner occupied after Monday. Yeah. Ah, because yeah. there's not hell. going to be an investment property yet. There's okay, be right, right. So for me to merge mm. that fifty three into mm. this one, it mm. needs to be the same mm. loan okay. purpose. Yes, yes. And Done. then you also want it because well, the lower rate's going to apply yeah, to that fifty three green exactly, as well. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, I'm good. I'm clear. Takes me a second sometimes. No, no, no. It's good. It's good to clarify. It's all good. Yeah, thank okay. You. So then, mm-hmm. and Helen Watson is signing the notification <laughs> of loan purpose. Loan purpose change for both loan accounts. Which I will forward you copies of this as well as well. Thanks, Paul. Okay, Molly. Turn. Tap tap. <laughs> 